Yahoo! Do you remember those commercials? Those Yahoo commercials? I remember those commercials. You good up there, Elise? Yeah, she's good. Now, hello everyone, hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Good to see ya today. I know why all of you are here. Recently, I decided to go on a adventure, a journey perhaps, on sewing doll clothing from scratch for the very first time. And let me tell you, it's a little difficult. Much cheaper than sewing your own adult human clothing though. Cause let me tell you, she is a size negative 12 or something. You are tiny, tiny, tiny. Smaller than Barbie for sure. <laughs> you thought Barbie's waist was small? Get a load of this girl. But anyways, I'm a huge Teddy Fresh fan. As you can tell from some of my other past videos on my channel, I have been collecting Teddy Fresh since Teddy Fresh existed. So I was excited to make mini versions of Teddy Fresh pieces for my doll. It was an honor to sew for my doll her very first Teddy Fresh gear. Now, choosing the outfits I decided to sew for my doll is a little bit of a deep cut for those who are big Teddy Fresh fans. So if you want the traditional Teddy Fresh color block hoodie, please let me know in the comments because I actually just got a first generation color block hoodie from Play-Doh's Closet the other day. So then me and her could match if we wanted to. It's amazing what you can find on clearance or secondhand. So I decided to go for some classics when making the first outfit. I don't have any of these pieces, so I won't be matching her in this video. I wanted to give her the Teddy Fresh collection that I always wanted. But then again, I think my shoulders are very broad. I wouldn't look good in that bow hoodie to begin with because um, I'd look like a linebacker, you know? So yay, Eliza! My sister decided to join me. She is behind the camera and instead of talking to, hey, that's enough. But come with me on my journey on making Teddy Fresh for my doll. Mwah. So then I started with this Teddy Fresh piece, which is one of the very first Teddy Fresh pieces that ever came out. And it's the hip sweater. One day I really want this sweater, but it's just a matter of finding it. And then I went ahead and chose this denim skirt that has like flowers and bows and nostalgic imagery on the back. And then I went ahead and went with the very classic beanie for Teddy Fresh that everyone knows H3 and Teddy Fresh is the beanie. And then this is my concept art. And then this is the denim skirt that I was referencing for the little skirt that she is gonna wear in a different outfit. And then here is the bowed sweater. I mean, the bowed hoodie. I keep calling it bowed sweater. And this is my concept art for that. And then this is all the fleece that I got for the sweater and the hoodie. And then I got two sets of denim, one light and one dark. And I chose a Barbie simplicity pattern for this because simply there is no patterns for her in America or as of recent. So I had to take in dramatically because Barbie's boobs are so much bigger than a Jenny doll's. And so I went ahead and I put the pieces out on the fabric and I kind of freehanded the hoodie pattern and the bow pattern. And I pinned it up and I totally forgot to record me sewing it, but then here is the end product of the bowed piece. Yes, the bow is a lot bigger on my doll in comparison to the hoodie that came up with Teddy Fresh, but I think that the big bow is fun for a little bitty doll. I agree with that. So yeah, so then I'm like, hey, you know, it what works is what works. And then I went ahead and started on the black mini skirt and I had to take this in so dramatically because she has such an itty bitty waist in comparison to Barbie, which everyone's complaining about Barbie's waist, but you know, everybody's body is different, even plastic ones. <laughs> so I went ahead and I cut and pinned that all up, put it on the sewing machine and then this took like two seconds and then bada bing bada boom, we had an itty bitty skirt for my itty bitty doll. And then I put this out, this particular project to the side because I wanted to paint on the pieces for the skirt that we're gonna get to later. And then I went ahead and I measured her head and just kind of whipped up a little bitty hat for her, a little beanie. And then very carefully, I sewed on a little uh, tag that would match the original Teddy Fresh beanie. And then later on, I will, sew I will paint on the little logo, which turned out all right, I think. So now it's time for the hip sweater and you guys will quickly find out that I, I did something wrong and I wanna see what people will say. Put it in the comments below if you see what I did wrong with the hip sweater before I tell you guys. So I went ahead and here is the fabric and I cut out the black pieces and then cut out all the letters and the lines on the sleeves, pin those guys up and then sewed them on all very carefully. Now those sleeves proved to be a bit of a problem for me. Went ahead and sewed on the letters. Ouch, Angel, you your nails are in my leg. <laughs> 
Here is the finished product after uh, painting on the little lightning bolts. Now, can you tell me what is wrong with the hip sweater? Eliza, can you tell me what's wrong with the hip sweater? The P is backwards, everyone. The P is backwards. That's what I get for being dyslexic and dumb. You're not dumb. Dyslexic. Dyslexic. Yeah. Yes, but dumb. You definitely are. You're many things, but not dumb. But so then now you know it's an Autumn Grace original because the P is backwards. So here is me painting on the pieces that I needed painted on to the skirt and the hat. So here's me trying to paint on the logo, but I didn't exactly do it. I didn't leave enough room for the body. So I just put a little bare face on the logo instead of like a whole bare body. And then here is me meticulously trying to age the denim a little bit and then put on some pieces that needs to be put on. And then this is the before and after, or like the side by side of the denim skirt. I'm not as impressed with my paint job for this one, but hey, we are dealing with what we got. And then I went ahead and painted on the pieces of the light denim for the cute little pieces. I really loved how this skirt particularly turned out. And then once I painted those, put it on the machine, bada bing, bada boom, I got a denim skirt. Now let's look at these outfits in all their glory. All right, Eliza, what did you think of my project today? Please marry me. I'm not gonna marry you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you're in frame. If not, I'll, it, would, it would be funny. Um, but all right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me with my Teddy Fresh project today. Uh, like this video if you did, don't. If you didn't, subscribe to me. You'll get more of me. All right, everyone, have a good day. Bye-bye! That was good. <laughs>